So if you guys been looking for a build that has the damage of a DPS build, but also has the survivability of a tank, well, I think you guys will 100% enjoy this build right here. To me, this has to be one of the most versatile builds in the game for the fact that you can feel like a tank because of the bonus armor you're getting, but also you can inflict that damage. As you guys can see at full stack, I'm pushing about what almost 900k to the head and you'll see in a second once we continue on the main thing you have to worry about with this build is those red and purple enemies because they tend to eat through your defense and there was a reason why but I'll explain that in a second but if you look at this there's just really nothing this build can't do it has the damage has the survivability and continues to just drop those enemies very fast very effective and what does that do allows you to get through content a lot faster so if you want something that's going to give you survivability but also give you damage with that hey this is the build for you but before we break down the build i 100 want you to see some more gameplay and see the damage that this can inflict just just watch how these enemies take this damage and how you're able to survive even when i don't have that bonus armor you see how much they're barely tickling me right I remember this build's base armor is sitting at 1.5 million armor. So it's not a ton of armor, but what makes it strong is that bonus armor as you build those stacks. And look at this, I have full damage stacks right now, um, and I'm starting to build up the armor stack again. But just look at this, just just shredding through these, these enemies, right? The named enemies aren't going to have a chance either. And I can just get through the content where we're literally mowing these guys down almost like if we had a dps build but once you guys see the build we have a lot of armor stacks on this build so just take a look at this and we just have the named enemy right here just too easy guys so what we're gonna do now is we will get into the build i think you guys will enjoy this one let's break down the build so for the build we're starting off with the mask and we have the coyote mask what this is gonna do is gonna allow us to get 15 percent weapon damage 6% crit chance, 12% crit damage, because you know that's what the Coyote Mask runs. And then I put 12% protection from elites. Now, a lot of you guys might say, well, you're gonna start losing, you're gonna start to lose a lot of damage skills. Well, with this build, you're sitting at like 1.5 million armor. And with the way the build works, is you're gonna have bonus armor on there and you're gonna be able to survive. So having that protection from elites is gonna help you against that harder difficulty where some of you guys still struggle with. So hopefully this build will help you guys who are still struggling. Now, if you notice, we have zero to 15 meters, 25% crit hit damage, 15 to 25 meters, we get 10% crit hit damage and 10% hit crit hit chance. And then anything over 25 meters for me is kind of a waste, but I'll explain that in a second. But yeah, this actually works for you and your teammates. So if you're fighting up close, your teammates are gonna get 25% critical hit damage. If you guys are fighting between 15 to 25 meters, then your teammates are gonna get that. So really up to how your play style is with this build. We well, might've guessed that we are running the Heartbreaker. We're running a four piece and none of my pieces have expertise on this except my weapon. And I'll show you that in a second. We have 15% assault rifle and 15% LMG damage from the two piece. Then we go over to the three piece. That's going to give us that 15% weapon handling, allow us to get that accuracy, stability, reload speed up. And then the four piece head headshots apply pulse for five seconds. Now weapon hits on pulse enemies add a stack of 1% bonus armor and 1% weapon damage to pulse enemies up to a max stack of 50 stacks. So that means with just the basic four piece, we're getting 50% bonus armor and 50% weapon damage to pulse enemies, which all of our enemies are gonna be pulsed because we are running the specialization that gives us the link laser pointer. So two stacks are lost each second. Now, if you notice, we have armor on here, we have critical hit damage, and then we have 13% protection from elites. So yes, we are gonna be stacking some protection from elites on this build and you'll see in a second and you might have seen in the gameplay how we were surviving right because of the protection from elites against those gold and named enemies now we are running the chess piece and what the chess piece is going to do is going to increase max stacks from our heart stopper from 50 to 100 which means that we can have 100 percent bonus armor and 100 percent um, weapon damage so that's going to help us with this build and that's why it's so effective we head over to the improvised holster and what that's going to do is going to give us armor 
We have critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and it allows us to add another mod slot. Now you guys can craft this at the crafting station at the base of operation. This is one of the ones that doesn't drop. You just have to craft it and hopefully you get the good rolls and then you have to optimize it. Um, and then I put 12% protection from elites. I went with this piece because I wanna stack, I'm almost at 50% protection from elites on this build. And that actually helps out a ton with surviving against those gold enemies. For our second piece of Heartbreaker, we have the knee pads, which is gonna have weapon damage, critical hit chance. Our third piece of Heartbreaker is gonna be the gloves, and that's gonna have armor, critical hit chance. And then we did put the Heartbreaker as our fourth and final piece on the backpack. And the reason why this is gonna give us armor, critical hit chance, we put another 12% protection from Elise. They actually had these for sale not too long ago. If you guys watch my Bender Reset videos, you will see that. And the reason I went with the backpack because it has a talent called Cold. Increases total bonus armor gain per stack of the Heartstopper from 1% to 2%. So that means not only will we have 100%, we're gonna have 200% armor gain per stack. So that we could be sitting at 4.5 million armor at a full stack, which is pretty impressive if you think about it so that's something for you guys to keep in mind when you guys are running this build that you don't have to have a ton of armor just enough 1.5 million is perfect for this especially if you're going to be sitting at max stack you have that protection from elites it just works really good all together and that's personally why i like this build and why i think a lot of you guys will enjoy it with the protection from elites stacked on here so i am going to be running the king breaker what this does is it has assault rifle health damage 10 percent damage sharks out of cover and then look at this amplifies weapon damage by 20 percent to pulse enemies so if i'm getting that damage from the heartbreaker set right at full stack i'm gonna be amplifying it with perfect flatline that's what's so cool about it we have crit chance on the scope we have 20 rounds in the magazine a link laser pointer and five percent critical chance now to build that stack a lot faster you can get an acs or the named acs to rock and roll and what that's going to do is going to allow you to stack those um, stack it heartbreaker very fast because we put a link laser pointer on the acs or a rock and roll and that's going to allow us to get those stacks up very fast. And then once we have the stacks, we can just use the King Breaker for the rest of the time. As you guys saw on that control point, literally just shredding through everything. The Rock and Roll is pretty cool because it has perfectly extra. So we get plus 50% magazine capacity. If you don't have that, you can run any talent on the ACS-12 shotgun, damage to armor and damage targets out of cover. Now remember my King Breaker is at 23 expertise, but it could will work with 15, 10. This will work with any expertise and that's what's so cool about the build for the skills i am running the decoy i think it's amazing since i am running four directives because i don't want to run ammo hoarders i tend to use this one after i use my defender drone so i pop the defender drone first you know with the directives once you use one skill the other skill goes on cooldown then once that skill comes back then i throw out the decoy so the defender drone is going to give us 30 percent damage reduction on this so that also helps imagine 30 percent damage reduction i have if we go over to our stats we go take a quick look we have 49 percent protection from elites you see how it all adds up that's how we have so much survivability on this build if we look at the stats overall and we just take a look at the weapon we're sitting at 50 percent crit chance 81 percent crit damage 75 percent headshot damage and 21 percent health damage plus we have 10 percent damage targets out of cover the base damage on this is 122,000. now remember that goes up once you get the heartbreaker stacked up once you get amp once you get flatline going just a lot of really good damage on this build and sitting at 1.5 million armor and then obviously once you get the full stack from from heartbreaker you're stacked even higher and that's what i love about this and this is one of those builds that works great in solo or group play the survivability these there if you build a stack up pretty quick with your acs you'll be just mowing through the competition so hopefully you guys enjoy this one if you guys have any questions um remember if you guys don't get the improvised holster you can do the improvised knee pads improvised gloves and then put the heartbreaker you can actually swap any of these three pieces around and be perfectly fine. But this is kind of how I have mine set up. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey, nothing must go out. Take it easy, everybody.